Do you really want to be king? I just want you to ask yourself this question throughout the next 10 minutes or so of what I'm about to share with you. Everything that I'm seeing right now from the messaging that guys are coming out with, all of the branding that a lot of these men's organizations are putting out there, everyone's talking about being a king. And I've been looking at this lately. I don't think that everyone has a clear idea of what actually being a king means. And I've talked about this in previous podcasts, how guys are starting to call themselves kings when they're really not showing up in my perspective and definition of what a king is. And I was having a conversation with one of my guys this week. We're talking about what it actually means to be in that position of power and authority, to be in a position of influence to be a leader, to be somebody who makes decisions that influence lots of people. Now, we don't have a lot of kings in the modern world, so the closest way we could look at this is leaders of organizations, leaders of businesses, of companies, fathers, of uh, patriarchs, of families. These are our modern day kings. So when you ask yourself this question, do I actually want to be a king? Let's dissect what it takes to be a king. Because just like in the movies, we know that the flowery Hollywood version of what it means to be a king is the guy who has servants, all the riches, the power, the authority, the women, the wives. You know, I think about all of these shows that I've been watching recently, like Marco Polo and Vikings. There's this there's this perspective that being the king means that you're the most important person in the room that everybody loves you, that you have all of the riches and the gold and everything, you're, 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 you can't go higher than the king. But what gets missed out so often is the cost that we pay to be in that position of power and authority, to be in a position of influence. It all comes down to responsibility and accountability, right? Because when, when things are going right, everybody loves the king. When things aren't going so well, everybody has issues, has qualms with the king. It's just like in leadership, right? The, the organization always and ultimately reflects the leadership of that organization. And all of the responsibility for the high times and the low times falls back on the leaders. And so do you really want to be a king? Do you really want to accept all the responsibility? Are you willing to be the one who stands in the face of hard decisions? Are you willing to be the one who makes a decision that's not popular? Are you willing to have your wife, your girlfriend, your partner, your family disagree with you, be upset with you, be angry at the decision you made because you believe it's in the best interest of you and your people? Are you willing to take on that responsibility to, in exchange for all the other things that you could get from being in that position? You know, there's a saying, heavy is the crown, right? Because to be king means that there's, there's a lot of responsibility that falls on our shoulders. It's not easy to be in a position where you have to make decisions and, and pursue a vision that isn't going to be popular all the time. You know, in order to really be a modern day king, you got to be, you got to be really clear on where the boundaries of your kingdom are. You got to be willing to defend those boundaries against anyone against anyone or anything that tries to intrude or infringe on your territory. Now, from what I see, most guys out there aren't willing to do that. Most guys want just the positive experiences of being a king. We want to feel the power of, of authority and influence without the responsibility that it takes to earn that position because nobody trusts a king that can only be king when the sun is shining. We need leaders who are willing to be in the trenches and, and to ride on the throne no matter what the weather looks like. And so, so I ask you to really question yourself for a minute. Are you, are you ready to take on that responsibility? Are you ready to have a strong no? Are you ready to tell people you're not available? That doesn't align with me. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity, but I'm going to go this direction instead. Are you willing to accept ridicule, feedback, people who disagree with you, who call you an idiot for missing out on this opportunity in pursuit of what you feel is best? Because the truth is, is that a lot of us are still fearful and we doubt ourselves on the inside. Right? A king doesn't have time to doubt himself. We all experience doubt. We all experience fear. It's a human condition. But the difference between ordinary men and modern day kings is moving past that doubt into responsibility and accepting the results and the consequences of our decisions. So are you ready for that? 
Are you willing to accept responsibility for all the decisions that you make in your life? The positive outcomes and the not so positive outcomes. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Are you willing to accept responsibility for every layer of it and really know what that means? Really understand that that means there's going to be times where people are not happy with you. You make decisions that people are not going to like, people close to you, people that you love. Are you willing to give up the need for other people to validate your decisions so that you can be a leader that people depend on, someone worthy of the people's trust? Do you really want to be king? Are you ready? Are you equipped to deal with all of the doubts and frustrations and concerns that come your way when you're making the decisions that need to be made? Because if not, then that's something you want to prepare yourself for before you crown yourself, before you start calling yourself a king and taking on all these responsibilities. It can be overwhelming. I know, I've been there myself. So think about this one. Really let this one land. Really let this wash over you because the worst thing that could happen is stepping into a position and taking on responsibilities that you don't actually want and you're not yet ready for. Think about that. Spread this message to other guys out there considering taking on this mantle of kingship and continue to tune in to what we're dropping here on The Rising Man. We're gonna keep this content firing your way, supporting our next generation of men being the best leaders that we can. So subscribe here, go to risingman.org, get yourself involved in a bigger way, and I'll catch you on the next one.